thing about the piston calibration. So what are all the things, what are all the uh, calibration that we need to do when you are overhauling the piston? We need to take uh, three clearances when we concerned about your piston rings. One is your uh, axial clearance, clearances and radial clearance and your butt clearance. Apart from these three, you have to check the measure the diameter of your piston. So these are all the four uh, clearance that we need to uh, check when you do the calibration of uh, piston. So I will just explain you in both and then I will show it and uh, place so that it will be easy for you to understand. One thing is uh, we need to take uh, axial axial clearances. Uh, axial radial butt and uh, piston dia. So these are all the four uh, measurement you need to take when you do the calibration of your uh, uh, generator piston or uh, main engine piston. So first we come for axial. Axial clearance is very simple. You just measure the width of uh, piston ring group and you measure the thickness of uh, piston ring. So you measure this two and uh, you minus it, minus the value and you will get the axial clearance. Suppose this is your piston ring group. You measure this distance and this will be your piston ring. You measure this distance. So this is A and this is B. So A minus B you will get your axial clearance. So this is what you call it as axial clearance. For radial clearance, say this is your piston ring group and you take the measurement of uh, the piston ring group and you take the thickness of your generator piston ring suppose A and B so A minus B value will be your radial clearance so these are the two clearances that we need to take and apart from that will be your butt clearance. How we take the butt clearance? Suppose this is your piston uh, cylinder liner and uh, you can insert the piston ring inside it and uh, you can check the gap. This two gap, this gap, the distance between the ring gap we call it as butt clearance. So one, two, three and the final is your piston so suppose this is your piston and you have to measure your piston outside dia say if it is 180 you have to the maker clearance it will be, will be 180 plus or minus 0.35 so like uh, you have to check with the maker's uh, specification so these are all the four uh, calibration that we need to do when you consult the board piston uh, calibration.